to kink. So this is a serial uh, dilatation uh, being done here in this. This is, you can see that. So that that's what is the uh, procedures which is done. Okay. Now they are passing the huge uh, uh, drainage cannula. It's about uh, 25 French or something. Uh, introduce it. Once you do a serial dilatation, probably the drainage cannula, the bigger size cannula or the 25 French cannula goes in very easily because there is no absolutely no obstruction in this. So this can be accomplished if you are quite experienced, probably you will take about uh, 3 minutes or 4 minutes to introduce the one of the cannulas. And if you have two persons, one can introduce in the jugular and one person can uh, do it in the femoral area. It's much easier. So. Now, recirculation in the femoral femoral approach can be minimized. Suppose you have both the veins, one on the right and the left femoral, uh, femoral femoral approach you are doing. The uh, position of the cannula is the most important. One, the drainage cannula should be below the diaphragm, above the renal veins and the return cannula in the atrium, a at little bit higher up. That's what it is. So this will prevent the recirculation occurring. If you are using a femoral jugular approach, then there is no question of recirculation. Only the tips have the, both the drainage and remission cannula a little bit far away. That is the idea. So, recirculation is one of the major limitations of a VV ECMO if you are doing that. So, factors which increase the recirculation.